Welcome back to Final Football. Today's first impression video is going to be on the new Under Armour Spotlight football gloves. Of course, sent over from my partners over at eastbay.com. I'm going to include a link for these gloves in the description of this video of where you can buy these gloves at eastbay.com. Now, I'm going to give you my first impression of these before I give you the detailed review. Let's open the package and see exactly what's new about these UA Spotlights. Here's a black pair, solid black pair of the UA Spotlights. I think they have a ton of different colors. Now these are gonna be kinda hard to see, but I love the solid look of these. Even the Under Armour logo is stealthed out in black, so a completely solid black glove. Now the Spotlights have taken different form over the years. They actually started as the UA Swarm football gloves, kind of the middle of the road glove. They have the F6, which is the entry glove, super thin. They have a little bit of a thicker glove, still a prime receiver glove in the UA Swarm. This is a couple years ago. And then they have the Spotlights, which were the top end glove. Last year, Under Armour kind of redid the naming and they made a Spotlight glove. They eliminated the Swarm, so the Spotlights became a Swarm glove, and then they made the Spotlight Pro. So these are the Spotlight gloves. These are gonna be the middle of the tier in the Under Armour receiver line, and it's gonna be more like the original Swarms if you had some. Now, I will be comparing these gloves to the Spotlights from last year, which again are like the original Swarms. So you have two black Spotlight gloves. These are from last year. These are the new ones from this year. I'll be giving you my first impression, and then in a couple weeks when I do the detailed review, I'll compare it to the old Spotlight gloves from last year. Now let's look at the package and see what Under Armour updated in this glove. Threadborne material, seamless, lightweight, and durable. So Threadborne is something new that they've been using. It's kind of like a knit fabric. It's gonna be just like Vapor Knit from Nike, just like the Prime Knit from Adidas. So I'm interested to see how that's going to perform on this glove. Under Armour traditionally has a super great fit you know, they're experts in compression material. It translates to their gloves. Probably had one of the best fitting gloves uh, over the last couple of years. Strategic two-tone stretch over molding provides support and reduces twists. So just like all the gloves this year, all the technology is changing. All the brands, at least Nike, Adidas, and Under Armour, are using a knit fabric with overlays to strengthen the back of the hand. So this is, you can tell, this is the knit. We'll have to see how much that stretches when I try on the glove. And here's the solid material over the knit to give it more rigidity and give it more integrity for the back of the hand. Now the palm of the glove uses UA glue grip catch technology, delivers super sticky, long lasting grip. Just like in my other Under Armour videos, I talk about the grip a lot. You guys who have used Under Armour gloves know the grip does not last. Glue grip it was new last year and is supposed to be much more durable, much more longer lasting. The grip on Under Armour gloves is always great right out of the package. Now what I will tell you is that these gloves from last year also used the glue grip technology and they didn't last. I didn't use this glove very much and the stick is almost all gone. Now we're gonna have to see if it's a new glue grip. Hopefully it lasts because Under Armour has a great fit and usually they have good grip right out of the box but it doesn't last for more than you know a day or a game. Uh, so Threadborne, material is made better, comfort made perfect. So it's all about comfort and compression. Now let's try on this glove, see how it looks on hand. Before I put it on, I can see that there's an asymmetric cut to give you more range of motion around the wrist. We'll have to see how that is. And they have a new design. It's rather simple. I kind of like it. It goes with the stealth look. Just says Under Armour Simply, and it's kind of a, a there's a small graphic on the palm, but it's really hard to see uh, because it's kind of worked into the rest of the glove. So now, let's take a look. Oh, super solid wrist closure. Uh, it's actually a super thick wrist closure uh, on the strapper. So that actually feels really good um, because when you're pulling off the glove, it's not gonna be flimsy at all, um, which is something that I didn't notice um, I would want because none of the other gloves have it, but definitely something that feels good, nice and solid on this glove. You can see how thick this part of it is to put on and take off the glove. Um, so we'll have to do more testing on that, how it impacts the feeling of the overall glove. Now this is hard to see, because I'm wearing black and it's a completely solid glove so I'll try to move out of the way so you guys can really take a look at how this glove is um, but the threadborne material is here it's the kind of darker portion on the glove and then they have an overlay all the way through the fingertips now the compression is a little bit less than the older spotlight gloves 
um, already from what I remember, and I'll have to test that out. Um, but you do have really good range of motion, so we're gonna have to test this out. Now, I think they have some Spotlight Pros. I really wanna test those out too, see how it differs. Um, but you don't get as much of a compressive feel as I remember from the older Swarms or the other Spotlights. Um, so that's something that we'll be taking a look at. But here is the first look, first impression. Let me know your thoughts on it, at least from first impression. Or if you have these gloves, let me know what you think. I'm gonna be doing the detail review in a couple weeks. Uh, so again, if you guys wanna pick these up from East Bay, definitely check in the description below. I'm gonna include a link. And if you liked my first impression video, definitely give me a thumbs up. Share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.